Zillow is working every day to replace a real estate agent with technology. Very clear. You can just see all the new features and stuff they're doing no matter what they tell us. But pricing a house, if it was just science, there would be no more realtors. But because it's art and science, you know, because it is data, but our real estate agents who know the local markets, who know what people are paying for this specific type of granite, who know buyers and sellers motivation, why they're moving, there's still a piece of this that's art. We're letting agents for the first time not just do one price and one net sheet. We're gonna go in at three different prices. True value up here in the top left. We're gonna go in at market. We're gonna say the house is worth five and a quarter. Low end, I think an aggressive price would be 500. And the high end of the range is 550. I think this is the number the sellers are trying to tell me they want to list it for. It's aspirational. If we do launch it at 550, which the sellers are trying to lead me towards, the house is going to sit for a little while. Three prices instead of one. And then I'm going to put in the address, just like always. It'll tell me, here's the payoff. Tell me how much you think I owe, because that's an important component for figuring out holding costs and net and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to put in the holding cost of this property because that's going to play an important role into this presentation. Electric bill, 850, gas, 275, internet, 115, water, 275, trash, 115. They're going to go in and fill out without putting in the holding cost, just use the net sheet. And then let's hit compute and let's look and see over three different prices. The low end, if you see the second step here, it says months to close. I think if we price it aggressively, we can close in 30 days. Let's just say we're gonna do that for this analysis. Now there's a toggle there and I can say that's too quick. I think 60 days is more doable. So they can sit there and play with these defaults all they want to run the numbers. I think if we go in at market, you know, right now houses are closing in 61 days if we price them right. And I think if we overprice it, the top end of the range, I'm not saying it's crazy, I'm just saying it's gonna be in the top end of the range. And that's a tough strategy in this market. We're looking at probably six months. And then the closing costs are gonna be slightly different again because different commissions, different title fees, and we're quoting them at each price point. And then the holding cost, what is the cost of this house sitting on the market? This is the first of its kind in the industry where we can look at different costs over different periods and factor that in to our final net sheet. We're running three net sheets. And so selling the house for 550, the top end of the market, because it's gonna take longer to get there, it's only gonna net you about 6,000 more dollars. It's not 25,000 more dollars like we might think. Now, chasing the market. What if we go in the top of the market and the house is sitting and racking up days? Normally we don't have revisions up in price we end up chasing the market down. We start reducing the price. So we put this really cool presentation piece together for your agents. And when they toggle on reductions, it shows them, you know, here's a 5% reduction. Well, I, I, we're only gonna do a 4% reduction. Here's a 10%, oh, we're only gonna do 9%. And real quickly, this can get upside down, trying aspirational pricing when you look at factoring in having to chase the market. And again, if I'm a realtor and I'm sitting across from all of us at our kitchen table and they're interviewing a few different clients who are all kind of saying and doing the same thing, telling us how they're gonna market and how they're the best and they've been in the industry, they're great negotiators. This is something I think that's a differentiator for our clients. I'm also gonna show you some local data. So because we put the address in, we're gonna help support them with median list price. It's interesting median list price of new listings. If that's not telling right there, this is something that realtors need to find a way to not offend sellers, but make sure they're aware of the market we're in today. Price per square foot, average days on market 74. Look how many price drops we've had in this zip code. 53% of properties have had reductions and look how many price increases we've had. And here's how many houses are on the market in this zip code. And then some national data that we keep updated for them. 68% of homes were sold last month at or below list. 44% of homes included concessions and almost one out of every five homes across the country had a price reduction.
the last slide when I click over, this is a very famous slide in real estate. It's been shared and used for decades, but this is the science of pricing and timing. Getting the price right out of the gate is the seller's best chance at getting the most money. Up in the top right, do you see the share piece? We built a beautiful five page report that breaks down all of the stuff that I just talked about. Impact of selling fast, local data market snapshot, cost of the house sitting in our estimation. Here's different price points and different nets based on different amounts of time. And then finally, at our recommended price, the full breakdown of the net sheet, all in 30 seconds and a few clicks. I'm excited to get this in the market because I think it's going to give you a competitive advantage over everyone else who doesn't have access to this. And I think it'll help you close more sellers just by giving them a little bit more information than they currently have.